today we are going to learn about the network access um, if you go to setup here in the quick find box if you uh, type network access you um, end up here in the under security uh, and sub menu event monitoring the network access it is the way you uh, enter the IP address information, IP address ranges for, for access. The list below contains the IP address ranges from sources that your organization trusts. User logging into salesforce.com with a browser from trusted network are allowed to access the salesforce.com without having an act. Uh, without having to activate their computers so how do you do is you click new you enter your ip address um, so start and end if you want to uh, restrict just one ip address just put this, uh, the same ip address and start and end description is optional you can save it here this is how you uh, assign the uh, trusted ip ranges you can edit or delete both options are there um, so this is a network at access of salesforce Today we are learning about the name credentials of Salesforce. Uh, you go to setup and then you type in quick find box uh, name credentials. Uh, you end up here. So you have two tabs, name credential and extend, external credential. Let, let's talk about the name credentials. There are internal configurations. For example, uh, you, when you click a new, uh, you can add a new name credential. And if you see the you hit the drop down arrow, you get a new legacy um, name credential. Let's start with the new. Uh, it came up with the last uh, re uh, release. So I. Uh, create a test name credential test uh, name credential uh, url www dot some url dot net enable for callouts it's already enabled for callouts uh, you can disable that means api call out you can enter x credential here uh, clients you have to uh, client certificate no no uh, client certificate so found there is no external credential are created first uh, if you create it you can see here but uh, this is a developer org but i am not going to do that i covered in for, for another video there are call out option generate authorization nature it by default is enabled allow formulas formulas in http header you can enable here allow uh, formulas in http body uh, let, let's go uh, to generate authorization header when you click here info generate an authorization header and apply to each call out that references the name credential it so as it says but that's what it does allow formulas in http header use credential field as formula field in name credential custom headers external credential custom headers and apex http header allow formula http body allow apex code to construct call out http body with credential fields available um, as formula fields 
the next drop down is outbound network connection none here manage network allowed namespaces list of namespaces that identifies the managed packages which are allowed to make callouts so this is about uh, the new uh, name credential most of the people still use uh, new legacy but that's why it's still around uh, you can enter uh, legacy uh, name credential so by default it fills the spaces with uh, underscore URL www dot some URL dot net certificates we I don't have certificates here this is a new develop developer uh, sandbox you can use identity type at per use or name credential uh, you can use any authentication protocol or two or no that is authentication or password authentication AWS signature version for JWT or JW token exchange there are call out option generate authorization data same as the one earlier allow merge fields and allow merge field HTTP body and HTTP header outbound network connection so right now there's no uh, nothing here so that's about uh, the name credential we have external credential let's go to this tab here when you click external credential uh, we can get a new external uh, uh, credential You can add the protocol or to AWS signature version to or custom. If you add a custom, you have option uh, as well. Um, so this is external. See, this is about the uh, name credential in Salesforce. You use the name credential to use it in the uh, HTTP uh, Apex code or formulas. You know. So you don't have to uh, use that credential to access the um, the external systems. Uh, so that's uh, as it says, is the name credentials. You know, so all the uh, authentication software are taken care of. Name credential. That's about name credential.